are you? So this is Siddiq from Toronto, Ontario. So today we'll discuss about a sensitive topic. I'm not so sensitive, but this is something like we don't feel good about. Let's say if I'm trying to fill up my expressive profile and in the midway or at the end, I'm, I'm finding like this is getting ineligible. So that is giving me some panic situation, right? So we'll discuss why this is happening so. So uh, there are a couple things that probably is going on in the background, but we do not care or sometimes maybe we do not know. So that is how we do not know why again and again, again and again, I'm trying, but the profile is getting ineligible, right? So let me give you some points which will help you to overcome this panicky situation. So number one, you must know, if you do not know, then know it from here, like though it's expressive profile and you will be judged based on the 1200 points but still you need to satisfy the old method which is 67 points out of 100 point grid okay so if you are not satisfying that 67 points you are not going to get qualified anyway so you must check this 100 point grid first that if you find okay i'm getting 67 point or more then only you should go and create express entity profile other than this it is of no help okay now there can be a couple other points which I have noted down in my laptop so I'm gonna check those one by one and tell you what you should look into number one you will be needing the IELTS or TEF so whichever you sit for most likely will be sitting for the IELTS so that should have at least two years of validity now here is one thing I like to I like to mention from my personal experience or you can you can you can say this is my personal tips so i would say you should sit for the ielts exam considering the date you'll be applying with not more than six months why because the whole process let's say to get your provincial nomination if you need or to get the ita finally it may take a couple of months right maybe it can take even more than a year so the time you are, you'll be receiving the ITA finally if it is not valid on that time so you may need to sit for IELTS one more time so let's do this way like you are sitting for the IELTS then within maximum six months you are creating your express entry profile so that will have at least one and a half year of buffer time okay that's a safe period of time I would say so but by any way if your IELTS is older than two years then for sure your profile will be ineligible then the next would be your ECA so let's say you have you have done your ECA but that is older than five years so for sure your profile will be ineligible so make sure you have done your ECA within last uh, five years and again this is my personal tip so do not go for that uh, amount of time rather you should go for creating your express entry profile within maximum one year of your uh, uh, ECA done. Okay, so that will give you enough time. Then uh, regarding working experience, so many of you, you may know or may not know that work experience you'll be claiming, that should be within last 10 years. So unfortunately, if any of you are uh, unemployed for last uh, 10 years or more, then definitely your situation will be uh, ended up with the ineligibility with the express entry profile. So you should keep in mind. Plus, some of you, the NOC will be selecting if it, that doesn't fall under 0A or B in, this, uh, uh, in these three categories, any of these three categories, then for sure your profile will not be eligible. Okay. And also one more thing you need to keep in mind, the job experience you'll be claiming, that should have at least, at least one experience should be more than 12 months continuation period so if let's say for an example some of your job may have five months or six months duration but at least one job should have 12 months or more continuation period other than this your profile will become again eligible uh, then uh, regarding the proof of fund so uh, then when you'll be creating the express entry profile you'll be uh, asked okay how much money you'll be bring into canada so for sure you need to check the table first like okay i'm sharing this table here again so according to the table how many family members you have let's say if you're single or if you're four member four family members or five family members let's say I'm, if i'm uh, trying to give an example let's say for a single person it should be 12669 then two person it should be 15772 whatever it is you should check this table first then 
set your uh, proof of fund accordingly and i would say please keep some amount buffer if it is let's say for single person 12669 and you were setting up the money as 12669 or just 12700 i think that's not a smart way because year on year or sometimes even in a year two to three times they increase the table so what if for an example today you are saying just i have for uh, 12700 bucks but just after three months they're saying okay you need at least 13000 from the single person so you know like due to that your profile will become ineligible so please check the table before you fill up the express entry table and keep something let's i would say 500 2000 uh, bucks extra okay and then the last not but the least uh, would be your working hours so for our uh, for for we guys let's say we are not coming from north american country so in in most of other countries we say okay working hours means daily no in the north american countries in canada in usa so working hours means they they consider weekly hours so for example if they are asking okay what is your working hours so probably you will be filling up eight hours nine hours daily but no you got to consider that's a weekly hours that means you need to fill up at least 37 and a half or more for a week because if you fill up by eight to nine hours daily so they will consider that eight to nine hours weekly so that makes you ineligible so make sure you are putting at least 37 and a half or more for the full-time job so i think these were my tips uh, to show you why your profile is becoming ineligible though you're trying more and more so these are little tips and bits so that you can check your profile properly and you know where to improve your score or where to improve your profile and i'm sure it will help a lot to uh, go for this entire process so if you have liked this video please subscribe our channel and keep watching our next videos so see you on some other next videos bye bye